head and shoulders pattern is specifically a reversal type of pattern. There are four parts to the pattern. First, we have the initial move up and a retracement back down. This is the first shoulder. Then it makes a second move up above the first shoulder and coming back down to the original area that the first shoulder found support. It then bounces off that area, creating a double bottom. This double bottom is considered the neckline. It then makes a move back up to around the same area as the first shoulder. Then it goes back down to the neckline. This is the second shoulder. So the four areas are the two shoulders, a head, and a neckline. A trader could play this in many ways. They could buy off the neckline, predicting the second shoulder, and stop out if it breaks below the neckline, or predict the head move by using a fib retracement or other support area to find that neckline after even just the first shoulder. But the most popular way to play it would be to enter after the break of the neckline or predicting a breakdown of the neckline. It is important to note most traders use this pattern as a breakdown or reversal pattern. There is also an inverse head and shoulders that can be played the exact opposite way. But as you can see, a lot of patterns can be patterns within patterns or just be another pattern that is slightly skewed. For example, the head and shoulders has a double bottom in it, considered the neckline. It also has a pattern of a higher high, a higher low, and a higher high. But then it changes to a matched low, then a lower high, and potentially a lower low. Writing it out like that makes it easy to see how the trend is reversing. So that is the main reason people like to use this as a reversal pattern. I hope that helps you see the price action of the head and shoulders and I'll see you in the next video.